three o'clock. Okay. So we are live now, but we'll just wait for some people to come on in. Come on in. <laughs> you recognize that, Tammy? Come on in. Come on in. Come Terrence. On in. Yes. So we're just, we just like to get together and craft together. So we just thought we'd come on in ourselves and craft together. Uh, I'm going to make this card today. I've already got the cut pieces cut out. But what I'm going to show you how to do if you're here from Silhouette, well, I'll, I'll wait for a few more people to come in. Come on in, come on in. and just, uh, I have all my pieces already cut out. And I'm ready to rumble. You're cutting up. Can you guys understand what Tammy's saying? No, it was breaking out. Which microphone do you have on, Tammy? The one on your... Are you near it? You can't mute the one on the phone. Well, we, you're you're now. Here. And Linda's missing in action. Oh, I'm right here. I was... I, I'm right here. I was just a oh. few feet away. <laughs> okay. I'm looking for my... Um, what I was looking for. <laughs> Look oh, what you're looking for. Look at I got you guys. Wasn't it was it Bernie that showed us on Sunday? Whoops, let me move this thing out of the way. Yeah, the Zyron, oh. yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, Tammy must have left. Oh, I got time. that too. Yeah, so I got one. So I tried it already on one of these little flowers. And you it like really it? Work really yeah, yeah. Was... I used to have one a long time ago, but then I sold hey Deanna's here and Janet's here. I sold um not sold. I actually gave away all my scrapbooking stuff before we moved here because I thought, oh, okay, I'm done with that. And now I wish I still had my stuff. Yeah. That you give away. But yeah, it works really well. I like it. So we got five people here at least. So wait for a few more to come on in before we, before I start teaching the little bit that I'm going to teach on using Silhouette for those of you that care. And I'm going to start putting my card together because I've already cut out all my pieces. Except Look. for, hmm? what'd you say? See? Linda? What? I bought yeah. this at yard. I bought this um, Zyron big, this big giant sticker maker at a yard sale for three dollars. See, that's brilliant. Oh, right. And the, and the tip as well. If anybody's going to buy one, I made the mistake quite a few years ago of buying one, and it was only half inch. And I didn't realize when I bought it, it was a disposable one. Once you'd finished with the the roll that was inside it, you had to throw it away. Wow. Oh. I so think this was only really like an, an inch and a half. This one does. Yeah, it was just the half inch one, apparently, was the one that wow. was just, you know, like a disposable one, which is wasteful, right. really. I think this one is, this looks like it's um almost six inches. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, Tammy, I mean, hey, you guys, are you able to spotlight yourself or not? Is there a dot, dot, dot on yours and you can spotlight yourself if you want to I, talk? Let me let me get rid of my picture. Let me try to. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. There. <laughs> so are there three dots or, or do just Tammy and I have that? I haven't got any. Okay. I don't have any. He's All right, now I forget. I can spot. So you can spotlight yourself? I can spot on okay. you. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Because I always forget. Yeah. Or you and I spotlight each other and undo each other. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm, hey, Janet, she made it. So I'm making my card five by five. What are you, what are you guys making yours? Linda, you're making one of these, aren't you? Yeah. I have a square five and a half by five. And a half. Okay. I made my five by five. And the reason why is. I thought Stephanie always says she makes hers to fit in a five by five car or envelope or something. I don't know. No, no, that's not me. <laughs> not you? Mine, is it? No, mine, mine's five by seven. Oh, five by seven. Huh. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, six gotta... by six. Well, then I don't know. I guess I'll have to make my own envelope to put the, to put this in, right? Because it's going to be well, a you get, you just use that envelope generator I was telling you about. I don't have that. You just download the app. 
That's all you have. Oh, to then do. I forget. I forget about that. What is it again? Tell me again. Um, it's EG envelope generator. EG and you just, just uh, EG dot com. Not even just, dot. You just go to your app store and just type in um, envelope generator, and it'll come up. EG. Huh. Wow. Okay. It's from wow. we are memory keepers. Huh. All right. And it tells you the sizes to cut everything. Oh yeah. You have yeah. to put in the height and the width and but you're you, but if you you have a punch board, right? A punch board? You mean a yeah. scoring board? No. No. Oh no, shit. No, I don't I don't think I have a punch board. I don't even know what it is. Okay. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So some people might be coming in because they uh, want to learn from the beginning thing if they're using Silhouette. So I'm just going to start using mine for a little bit for a few more people to come in. And then I'll give a little tutorial on how we got all these pieces, how we got them to the exact size we needed, and so on. And I have got all my pieces already. I, I'm trying to copy off for Linda because she put hers in an egg carton. I didn't have an egg carton, but I had this tub. So just so I don't lose all my parts, I put them in this tub. That's a good idea. Yeah, well, at least they won't fall on the floor while I'm working. So I'm going to make, oh, oh, I might as well just go ahead and go to Silhouette. Hey, Ann, how are you? Uh, I'll go to Silhouette right now. And hopefully y'all can see them still working on the side while I teach a little something from Silhouette. So I'm going to share. Let me share my screen application so right now it doesn't show up until i open it again hmm. okay oh, here it is. okay so here we are in silhouette you can see my silhouette right can you yeah. ladies see it yes mm -hmm. okay. yes cool all right you know, um, mate, look at my things just rolling and rolling. I wonder why. Uh -oh. Well, let's go back to this. All right. Instead, what I'm going to do first is I'll just show you where I got this from uh, uh, Creative Fabrica. So in case you're not familiar with Creative Fabrica, you'll know how to get the parts. I'm going to share my screen again. And this time I'm going to share my Chrome tab. So the link that I've given you will take you to this scrapbooking page, which I, uh, uh, I think is so super cute. And there are other ones like this too. And for the Digi Chicks, Tammy and I are going to choose another one of these scrapbook kits for you to have to use in your next Digi Chick thing. You can add as much stuff as you want, but you have to use components from this and we're not sure how many yet right Tammy we haven't decided the number but anyway since I am a member or I have the um the account here I can't tell you how much this costs but I think it's like four dollars maybe but all you do is you'll use that link that I gave you and just say download right here I'm using a Windows machine so my automatically just downloads here in the left hand side once it's done downloading uh, click on that to open it and I don't know you probably don't see that Let's see. I'm gonna share my screen. Oh, oops, maybe we can. all right are you seeing my download stuff Tammy or Can anybody I see your silhouette or anything before. oh you're back to nothing okay all right. Did you see your mat? Okay. Hang on one sec. Okay, so what you saw me do is I just downloaded this. And once you download it, it will come into the left-hand corner, the lower left-hand corner. You'll click on that to open it, and then you'll have to extract it. 
And to extract it, if you look at the top of your little screen, and you won't see it online though, but it says extract all, I would click on that and I would just extract it and it would stay on my computer. So once I've done that, then the next thing I would do is back to StreamYard. Um, I'm going to open up Silhouette again. And okay, here we go. All right. I got to share this. I'll open the silhouette again. And I don't know if you guys know this or not. Hopefully you do. If your silhouette ever closes on its own before you've had a chance to save something, something weird goes on. When you open silhouette again, if you look over here on the right-hand side, you'll see where it says recovered documents. And these are documents that maybe you closed and didn't save first. You can discard them all, or if you want to, you can just click and open on one of them. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to click on this one. I don't remember if this is the one I actually wanted. And yes, it is. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so can you see all these images on my screen? Yes. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Okay, so when you download these particular elements, they give you four samples of cards, or these can actually be scrapbooking pages, because I think that's really what they're meant to be, scrapbook pages, but we're making them into cards, and these show you different ways that you could set them up. Well, the one that I'm making today is basically not even showing here. There must have been one more. Let's see. Is this it? Nope. Uh, let me go to file and merge. I'm going to merge one more into here. The one that I actually made is right here. I'll say okay. So, and they come in really huge like this. And the reason why they do that is whoever designed these, they wanted to make them big enough so that when you stretch them out to use them um, in, uh, in design space or even in, in silhouette, you won't get it all pixelated. It will be a nice, sharp, clear image. But what I would do now when this comes in huge like this, I just come up here and lock this lock right here. And I just come up here to the width. And I usually change it to like five and hit enter. And since I locked the lock, that made it all change proportionately. And now you might be wondering well, where in the world did it go? Well, just come right here to this button that says center to page. And because that image is still selected, it will center it to my page. So there it is. Okay. So this is the one I'm going to make today. So um, before I go ahead and start making, putting mine together, I just wanted to show you a few other things. For example, on this one right here, I'll make it bigger so you can see it easily. Okay, you'll notice that right here they have a circle that is scalloped. Well, we didn't get a scallop circle nor did we get a circle of, of this stripe paper. But it's really easy to make that in silhouette. All you have to do is this. Uh, I think I'll go to a new page and I'll go to File and Merge. And I'm going to get that, uh, which one was it? Well, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to get the blue polka dots paper right here. Going to click on that, double click on it to open it. Going to come in big but that's okay. I can make it smaller if I want to, and I probably will just do that with the corner. Now I want to make this the scallop one. So all I have to do is come over here to these shape tools, and I'm using the business edition of this program. I have a lot more tools than what you'd have if you don't have the business edition. So I'm going to click on this, the drawing tools, come over here to the circle, hold down my shift key. No, that's not what I'm going to do, you guys. I don't want to make a circle out of this one. I'm going to make a circle, I think, out of the stripe one. So for this one instead, I'm going to come to these shapes. And I'm going to get this shape right here. And again, if you have the business edition, you'll have a lot more shapes. Just going to draw this out like this. So if you'll remember, the one they showed had a whole lot more little, whatever these things are called, 
I don't know, petals than this one yeah. does. Yeah. So what I could do is take this little thing that looks sort of like a zipper. And if I scroll in, because you guys aren't maybe seeing it very well, if I use this little zippery thing. Look what I can do. I can make it have a whole lot more petals than it, what it does. The other thing that's kind of odd, though, right now, you'll, you'll notice these petals are very deeply cut. And if I don't want them to be that deeply cut, there's a little red dot right here that I can take and move that in and out like this so that I have just a little bit cut like that. Okay. So then the next thing that I will do is let me scroll back out just a hair. I think what I do now is I come over here to the modify panel and I'm pretty sure I'll subtract, right? Nope. If you subtract, you take that whole thing right out of there. I crop it. And there it is. That's exactly what I wanted. So let me show you again. I drew this. I used that little zipper tool to change how many of these little petals I had. And then I used this little red dot right here to change how deep they cut. Look, you can make them whatever you like. And then I highlight both of these things and come over here to crop. And then I have exactly what I needed, which we didn't get. But again, if you look at this image right here, they show it right here. And they also have a circle of the stripe color right here, which we don't have either. But that's easy to make as well. So all you have to do is go to File and Merge. And let me find the blue stripe. I love this little kit, you guys. There's so much you can do with this. And it just turns out so super cute. But I'm going to change the size of this again, I guess. I'll lock the lock, and I'll change this to maybe six inches. I'm just willy-nilly picking something. And then I'm going to make a circle with this that's going to go on the inside of this one. So what I can do is I'll come over here to the circle tool. And if I don't hold down my shift key, I can make this any shape I want to. But once I hold down my shift key, no matter how hard I try, I can't change it out of anything but a circle. Okay. Now, what I might want to do is put this over here and see how big do I want that to be. And that looks just about perfect to me like that. So I'll just bring it back over onto this piece. Grab, whoops, what I just grabbed right now was one of the rulers. I'm going to put that back. What I want to do is grab the stripe paper and the plane and just say crop. And there we go. So you've already, you've made that component by yourself using um, the software that we have that we all love. The other thing that they made were these stripes here. And that was just cut out of... Tammy, is this the one you're doing? Uh, I am, but they don't have that circle. So I um, used a different frame. They don't have that frame? Oh. That frame. Okay, so the other thing that they had though too was they go to file and merge. And you can get maybe the red, we'll get the red dot paper. Say, okay, bring that in. I could click on it to highlight it, change it so it's not so huge and not so cumbersome to work with. And then if I want to make those little strips like they had, come over here to the knife tool. I'm going to make it a straight cut. And I uncheck auto apply because I don't want it to auto apply. I like to be able to move it as skinny as I want it to be before it applies so like I can move that over. See what I'm doing? Moving this cut line. It hasn't cut yet because I didn't say apply. Once I say apply, now it's a cut and I have a strip. And then, of course, I could just hold down my alt key, which changes my cursor from the hand to the plus sign and just drag a few out. And that's what they did on theirs. If you look back here like that. Okay. So anyway, back to this. So I think that's all I was going to show today, unless, you know, there's this other component that you might want to see. It's in this one, right? This one right here. And I had a little trouble making that at first. Let's see. This is the one I created. This is the one they use in this layout. So I figured out how to do this. At first, I messed it up. Let me show you how easy it is to make this. Back to here. I'm going to get the knife tool again. The way I messed it up my first time around was I came up here on the knife tool, still had auto apply off, 
But what I did was I came down here to wave and that made me draw out my wave myself. And I really didn't like the way it looked and I'll show you the difference. The one that I should have used probably is serrated one. So hopefully you can see that a little bit. Serrated one. And I'll hold down my alt or shift key again to make it go straight. Uh oh. All right. Oops, I messed up. I let go of it at the last minute and that allowed it to go cockeyed. Let me try that again. Okay, so I haven't applied anything yet because I did that on purpose. So I can say now apply and you can see I'm going to get this really nice shape right here, which I could have made them bigger if I wanted to or smaller. I'm going to twirl this around by here, holding that green button down, get rid of this piece. And so if I'm trying to duplicate what they had done, probably just take the knife tool again, make this be straight, hold down my shift key and go down and then apply it. So I got this big piece here, now delete that. So to make the little circles, this is what I did. Came over here, got one of the circles and hold down my shift key so it makes a beautiful circle just like that and put him right in here. So I see, is that the size I want that to be cut out? Maybe a little bit smaller, something like that. So then the next thing I did was I clicked on that circle and a quicker way to be able to duplicate them is to come over here to this replicate panel that looks like a flying cigar to me. And I click on that. So this is a replicate panel. I'm going to come to the second button over. And that's the advanced replicate because that says how many times I want to replicate it. Well, I got to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen times. So I'm going to put 14 in here and I want to replicate them down. I want to replicate them below what I already have. So I'll click on that and I'm sort of bummed because nothing happened, right? Well, I have to just click on replicate. Okay. So there they are looking okay, but nowhere near where I want them to be. So what I'll do now is I'll take this very bottom one and just bring him straight down to fit to this last one right there. And then I'm going to move this out of the way, grab all of these and come over here to the panel right here, the transform panel. And on the transform panel, now I'm going to transform these vertically. And that just means it's going to space it perfectly from here to here. It may not be exactly what we need, but it'll be certainly better than what we have right here. So I'll say space vertically. There they go. And then I would just start moving these guys over. I wonder if I hold the shift key down. Yes, that's perfect. Uh, but I don't like where that one is. So I'm going to use my arrow key a little bit to move it down. So I'll bring this guy over. So I guess I'll just one by one just bring these over here. And I probably don't need to go through the whole thing because you get the idea. I'll just do two more. One, two. All right. And then once again, what I would, this one needs to be moved a little bit up. Once again, what I would do is I would grab these guys and I can come here to the line, align them to the left so they're straight and then bring this thing back over like that. Okay, this one still looks like it'd be moved a little bit. And I'm using the arrow key on my keyboard. I love how that works in this software compared to the way it does in Cricut because it just lets you move it in little teeny tiny increments. So the next thing you do then is you just grab all this stuff together and come over here to the modify panel and say subtract. And there now you have that beautiful piece if you wanted to make something like that because it doesn't come in this kit, but uh, they certainly did use it in their example right here, which I think is so pretty right there. They did it with the with both of those colors. And I think that turned out really nice. Okay, I think that's all that I'm gonna show about this and I'm gonna get busy making my card because I want to too. So I'm gonna stop this share. If anybody has any questions, let me know. And come back to my card. Okay, uh, Linda, what did you do to your finger? Janet wants to know. 
Oh, they said. Oh, I, I, it, it was just literally a pinprick. Oh. I was I was afraid that it was going to be, and it, it really swelled up. Oh, I was really, oh. um, it was really painful. And you did it with what? A just look. I did it with a pin that I keep in the top of my bottle. Oh my gosh. Okay, you were a nurse. Did you wash it out really, really well? Oh my gosh, did I ever? <laughs> Not a girl. I did. Oh, so, I am <laughs> peroxide. I did the works. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, all right. Hey, Tammy. Um, somebody, Princess said she and Deanna both said they couldn't see my screen. Could you see my screen? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay. Maybe they meant that in the very beginning when I was still putzing around. Yeah. Okay, so I have all my parts cut out. What'd you say? I think it might have been when you went to your downloads and it went back. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. So, Tammy, we can't see yours, what you're working on, or maybe you're can't. doing that. Can now? Oh, the reason you can see me is because I don't like the light showing on this little ribbon that I cut out. So I'm head and go over the side so that you know okay and I was kind of leaning back in my new chair that's right she got a <laughs> new chair no oh, I don't want myself there there we go oh good Deanna says she saw it what you working on Steph I'm Maybe working we'll on a card that I, I um I got this magazine um, and in it, it was only £3.50, uh, which would be about $5 in the US. So it wasn't so much the magazine, but you've got a free embossing folder with it, oh, nice. which is tulips. I don't know if you can see. Um, I don't know if you can see in the light. It's got Pretty. tulips on it. Um, a free stamp set. Oh my with gosh. Quite a few, with quite a few stamps. Um, just for you. Um, hello, you are loved, thinking of you. Happy Mother's Day. And um, and I've made a little pouch for this so I don't lose them. And tulips in, in, in a die. So for three pounds something. So the little I've got the tulips on here now. And that's the embossing fold. If you look on the other side, you can perhaps see the embossing with the light. Yes. Can you see? So I've, I've just, I've, I've just coloured in some of the tulips and then put a, a butterfly on it. So it's, and what I've also done, I hadn't got the right colour of card to go on the back, and I'm, I've cut out in the middle, so I'm not wasting card. So I've just used my marker pen, which I used to colour these, and I've just gone round the edge. So when I actually put it on, it'll look like. Wow. Um, it's a, it's a matching color. Oh, that's pretty. Cool. Oh, that's so pretty. So, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I think they sell those magazines at our Joanne's. You guys, has anybody ever seen them there? I, I think I bought a pair or two there. I never pay the full price, and I wait till they're on offer. And uh -huh. and usually. It's, they might be bringing a new one out. So the one that was the month before, they bring it down to half price for a while. In fact, right. Tammy and I got some a couple of months ago. Right. But yours says the Mother's Day I saw, so that must not be an old one there. No, it's... um, the Well, it, Mother's Day for us was two weeks ago. So obviously it was... But they're not, they're not really old. They're only sort of like when it's a new one coming out that they, they drop them down to half price. Right. So it's, it's worth checking out what they've got. I mean, it's not so much the magazine, but it's the freebies. If I had to go and buy an embossing folder and the dies and the stamps, it would cost nice. me more than the price Absolutely. of the magazine. Yeah. So, yeah. I forgot. So what I did on one of the pieces that they gave us was I did have it right or print, print, Cut them, print them, cut. <laughs> Happy birthday on this one. And the other thing I did on mine, there's chicken wire, and it was so skinny we had a hard time. You can't really see it very well in the picture, but it's black and white. I saw myself. But I mean, uh, Linda did something else, but I'll let you tell me this. <laughs> oh, I can't even find. Um, oh, here. 
Oh, for heaven's sake. You need a tub. <laughs> uh, you know, I learned I that from you. I usually have my little, uh, here they are, for heaven's sake. I foiled, I foiled them. Wait, 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 exit. Where, oh, here they wait, are. Wait, wait, wait. You got to wait till I solo you. Oh, Ooh. my gosh. Now, how did you do that? That's fabulous. How, how do you do that? Oh, did you print that with your other? Well, yeah. I, I printed them like this. On With that other kind of printer, whatever it's called. But you know what? I printed them, and um, this this was actually the um, this uh, very thick-looking one. Uh -huh. um, I got rid of the uh, chicken wire, and I just used the... Um, the offset. <laughs> this is the offset. Oh, okay. because I I needed something solid. This my machine tried to cut this, and I thought it was going to start steaming. It was just there was so much. To <laughs> cut. Right. It was trying to cut so many little things. So this this worked out really really well. Oh. Yeah, I can figure this out. You know how Linda always has lots of little cutouts and things. Yeah, and I know you, you 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 look after them properly, Linda. But somebody I, I saw a tip the other day, which I thought was really good. And what she'd done, you know, when you get a biscuit tin and it's got all the the you know the different shapes for the biscuit. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know what a biscuit tin is. Oh, do you mean like cupcake? Cookie. Okay, yeah, Cook, yeah, yeah. Cook, uh, and you know, you get this sort of it's like um hard cellophane inside it, and you know the shapes of the cookies that fit yeah. inside. Yeah. Um, oh. She'd use that for putting all the all the little embellishments in. Oh, and then we get to eat the cookies too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I bet. Yeah, that's what I do with the um the egg trays. Yeah. yeah. And Stephanie, I liked you made your own pouch. And how do you do that again with the laminating things? Because <laughs> you made it clear. <laughs> Yeah, what I did, I got a laminating pouch, but I, I got a piece and turned it inside out. So the sticky side was on the outside, so it wouldn't actually stick the inside. And then I put it inside the proper side of another pouch so that when I'd actually put it through the laminator, the middle bit was open, wasn't stuck together. So it was just handy to put those in. Oh, yeah. I like that it's clear so you can really see what's in there. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Just, they're, they're so tiny that I thought if I don't put them in something, I'll lose them. Right. And were they already broken apart? Remember, we were talking the other day about how some people look like they leave them. No, no. Funnily enough, um, the leaves, and I've just left them like that. The, the others came separately, but the leaves are actually all stuck together. Look, what you can see. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I thought, they're only tiny. I'm not going to start pulling them apart. I'll just cut them out like that. Right. So I, I want to make sure I put this where I just set it and like it. So I'm just going to make a little pencil corner mark here. That's what I've been doing. So I can remember that's exactly where I need it to be. Or what I like. So, too bad Bernie couldn't join us, but we couldn't even ask her because we figured it was the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bernie. I know. It would be five, five o'clock in the morning again. It would be for Bernie. <laughs> oh, you're right. But when we started thinking we were going to do this, it would have been like two o'clock in the morning or something, right, Tammy? When we first thought, let's do this. Yeah. Let's see. Don't want to wake her up work well it's, and, and especially maybe waking up her husband too oh yeah <laughs> he might not like that yeah. i was telling tammy the other day my sister well she didn't send it to me in the middle of the night but she sent me something i think it's on instagram they're called reels r-e-e-l-s or something little short videos kind of reminds me of tiktok but it's not but anyway, she sent me something and by the time I saw it was when I woke up at like three o'clock in the morning. So I watched that. And then, of course, I watched the next one and then the next one and then the next one. And <laughs> it was six o'clock in the morning. And it was like, OK, time to get up. <laughs> like, why did I do that? Okay. 
And I told her that she did it. She says, I did not send you anything in the middle of the night. I was like, I know. It's like, as I saw it. <laughs> so, Linda, you're making the same card, right? Yeah. I, oh, I, look. I, oh, look. Did you use a die cut to cut that circle? I thing? did. I just got these in the mail the other day. See? Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, it's funny because Spellbinders, um, Amazon sent me this one. I ordered uh -huh. the I ordered the um the nesting dies the the fancy nesting dies and they sent me this and I called them and I said, oh my gosh I said you know I I received like a moose a Christmas tree and some bunnies I said I ordered nesting dies oh my and gosh I, That's said, I, and she was so nice the girl she, um she said oh just keep those and I'm gonna send you your nesting dies <laughs> oh that was nice yes yeah. Wonder who read that order. I well, somebody who was probably having the um the night beverage that I no longer have. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard you don't do that anymore. What you decided you were gaining some eight weight from that or something? Yeah, I just yeah. I couldn't. Ugh, it was awful. So I just uh I like three I don't know three three and a half weeks now. I well I started taking like one milligram a night of uh, Lunesta, yeah. and that's. That really seems to be helped. I didn't last two nights. I've just gone to sleep on my own because I've been so tired. But um, yeah, Lunesta seems to really uh, do the trick. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever have really weird dreams? Like last night, I dreamed I got that new scope right that I could take a picture through. I don't know if you guys saw some of you did on my Facebook page where I could take pictures of birds like really really far away. So I got a really cool one. I anyway. saw your yeah your woodpeckers. <laughs> yes, but I dreamed that somebody in a truck pulled up right by my car, wasn't very close, and then he got closer. Then he got out with a crowbar and started tapping on my back window, cracked <laughs> a hole in it, stuck his hand in there, and got my laptop my scope and my binoculars. And I can remember yelling, I may get a picture of his car. And <laughs> even when I woke up, I could remember his license plate number that I dreamed that I made up in my head when I was dreaming. Oh, I'm just, that's just freaking as, weird. As long as it's not Friday night's dream, you're okay. <laughs> oh, because those come true? Friday night's <laughs> dream and a Saturday toll will always come true no matter how old. Oh my ah! gosh. <laughs> <laughs> don't have dreams and tell us on a Saturday. You have one on a Friday. Oh my gosh! Wow. Yeah. I love your I love your little sayings, Stephanie. Oh. <laughs> everybody, my whole yeah. family, everybody, my whole family spends a penny now. You know that. Yeah. <laughs> Funny. That's what you get, Patty Ann, when you mystery books were bird watching. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Well, you know what else I think was? We have a sheriff department and they put little things online like little hot, I mean, people they need to look for. And yesterday afternoon, there was one that was some guy. Some guy. What, you see, it's the um, Hendersonville Sheriff Department. And you look in the news and they have a blog and they had a a person wanted, which you can't see very. This guy right here. Now they find they've gotten him today, but it was him right here. And don't you know he stole a truck and was stealing things? And I read that, and I'm thinking maybe that's how I came up with this truck. Yeah, yeah. Truck. yeah. Our brains are so weird, aren't they? That oh yeah, <laughs> yeah they are. I told you what I made, um, Ethan for um Easter, didn't I? I I went and I bought a um at Hobby Lobby a um a light bulb you know in the glass aisle but it was a like eight you know like eight inches tall and i put fairy lights in it and on the front of it with vinyl i wrote ethan's neural network oh my gosh <laughs> it was and and my my so my every, my daughter-in-law said oh my gosh where'd you get this i said you know i made it <laughs> did you take a picture of it oh yeah i'll show you yeah okay yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I like to document because I won't ever remember what I made in five, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> I like Stephanie. She takes pictures of her cards and po posts them on Pinterest for herself. It's her own little Pinterest page so she can keep, remember what she made. That's a great yeah. idea. Isn't that? 
Well, it doesn't. Otherwise, your computer gets absolutely full or your phone. And that way I can delete them off my phone. And it's my own sort of page. It's not anybody else's. Um, right. And at least you can save your cards then. Yeah. Well, Tammy and I, we just hoard ours. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but do, don't forget, I've had nearly 16 years of it, so I would be overrun by. Yeah. Oh, that looks beautiful, Stephanie. Okay, wait. What did you do with this bow? Let me look at your bow. Is that one of those ones you made with that little bow maker? Yes, it's just, um, as you can see, it's just a bow. Must have colored it with your marker. Yeah, I did because I hadn't got, well, you know, I only buy white. So the back right. of the card is coloured and the bow is coloured as well. So it, oh. it matches. <laughs> Beautiful. Are you making for that for somebody in particular? Because you usually do. No, no, no? The, the other one I made, it's just say happy birthday. So I can use it as a birthday card. But this one, I thought, I put thinking of you. So if anybody's not feeling perhaps well or down, at least you can send a card, you know, to say you're thinking uh -huh. about them, can't you? Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sakes. What? I made what? my card. Um, Open this to it, this direction and set aside. Uh, that's okay. It doesn't matter. You've not done it upside down like it's in Australia, have you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I messed it up. See? Look. <laughs> Wait, show us again. What is it doing? It, it, well, m number one, my cat, I'm, I'm upside down. But look. Yeah, but See, it opens okay. this direction. Instead of this direction. Oh, that doesn't matter though. It's not upside yeah. down or anything. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I think it looks fine. Do you? I think that's nice. Tenfold. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna look at Tammy. What you doing, Tammy? I was gonna say Tammy's very quiet. She I'm is quiet. <laughs> flowers. Making flowers. Yeah. These flowers in this little kit are so nice, aren't they? They look so realistic. Just give them a little fold, and I think they're beautiful. And you really don't need no extra stuff to make these kits. That's what's so great about them. You don't right. have anything but your printer, and your machine are a very good uh, way to, <clears throat> what do they call it when they cut it out by hand? Pussy uh, cutting. Yeah. Pussy cutting. So, so of course we're gonna use these, aren't we, Tam? Stickles. And Linda's probably gonna add stuff to hers. Well, she already did with that other cutter. For her. Well, I've got these really see these little um see my little stars and oh. I just love them. They're so oh cool. yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So did that little thing behind bless, did that have lines on it? I didn't like the lines on mine, so I took them off. Well, that's why I, I just put the blessing. Covered it with that, yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't like those lines. Because I kept thinking, if I wanted to even write on those lines, there's three lines. What do you say? Yeah, I know. Happy birthday. I made, the, I made this frame as well, but I didn't. I decided not to use the frame. Ooh. It's too big. It's not It's not me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny. <laughs> oh. How many people are, are have joined us? I don't know. There were 10 or 13. You can't really tell by that number right there. But I want to see, Stephanie, what else, what is that you've got going on now? Well, I'm going to do another one because I did this card today as well. I've been coloring. Um, uh, so I did this I did this one today as well. Oh, pretty. Um, so pretty. this is another one I'm going to do, but different colors. Nice. Oh, yeah. So I've, I've been busy coloring today. Yeah. So I, I was watching some man the other night. He has a really a soothing voice on YouTube. He colors for like an hour and a half or yeah. something. And he makes like maybe one card, but he colors. But he's just soothing to listen to. And and if you need something, help like, sleep, yeah. he can help. It, with it's that nice, too. isn't it, sometimes just to sit, sit right. down and color. Yes. Relaxing, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this is gonna fit on here. I think it was because I was feeling a bit under the weather. I thought I'll cool it because, yeah. Oh, 
Where are all these flowers? Oh, here they are. See what I did? See my page? What did you do? Let me see. Oh, made a whole bunch of everything. I did, just in case. How did those flowers <laughs> cut out? I cut a few of them out the other day. And they seem to cut <laughs> with a string on it. Linda, have you done it on thicker paper? I have it. This is just my um, vinyl paper. It's called vinyl paper. Right. You, right you. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out where I want to put this. Uh, what do you think? Maybe. This is confusing me because I have a I have this on a red background. I've got to move this. I'm gonna put a white make put it on a white background. Oh no. I don't like the red better. Jeez. I love this the reason why I chose this one to do this time is because I like this little girl that's Kind of vintage looking. I thought she was cute. She is adorable. I love her. Come here. That looks cute. Okay. Let's see. Hey, where am I? Oh, here they are. Oh, and there's that little clippy thing. Did you anybody cut that out? The little clippy? Poor, poor Stephanie. She didn't get this. The little clippy thing that looks sort of like I, that. I, I didn't. I didn't choose that one. Yeah. It's not mine. Did you put it on yours? Yeah, I see it here. Wait, let me solo you. Well, we can't see. Put it over towards your pens. Mostly, we just see your pens. Move your pens over to your left. There you go. And then put that and move it up towards the top a little bit. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, behind that flower. See those flowers, y'all? See that pretty flower? They look, they look like they're pieced. They're so pretty. Yeah, they, they do look really dimensional, don't they? Yes. Very oh. realistic. Mm -hmm. That one's too big for there, I think. Let's see. Janet says your flowers are beautiful stuff. Exit soil. What you mean the way she colored them, Janet, or just the co the colored ones? The, he's the yes, yeah. Does she mean these are colored? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do this one as well. I've colored this today, and I've just picked a piece of card, and I think that looks pretty. Oh, very good. Like for it, so Oops. Oops. we're all getting our motivation back, aren't we? No. Get in this kit when. We'll I got it the other day and I told Tammy about it and she got it. That got our mojo back because she and I have both been kind of like, Ugh. <laughs> like I'm really looking it. forward to having a go with it. Yes. I think I should have another heart here. I really like it a lot. But yesterday when I was making, here's my first one I made and I had to keep cutting it down because I put stickle oh. here and then I kept smearing them then I tried to put stickles around here and I kept smearing them. So I had to keep cutting off the stickles. So this one's ready for the trash can, basically. But my you second one. Um, are not cute. I like my second one. But Tammy, hey, Tammy, show them your first one. Oh, yes. Wait, let me solo it. Look what she did in the center. It's adorable. Oh, oh my That's God. gorgeous. Look at that. I love that. That's Beautiful. a ribbon she wove, right? Tommy, did you weave that ribbon behind there? Yeah, I did. It's beautiful. Yes. So the one I'm picking is a different one than that one. Yeah. I'm doing the same one again. Oh, I forgot the music guy that I made into a sticker. That little clip, that would be a perfect thing for maker. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. You're right. This, am I going to make something? Yeah, like that. 
<laughs> hey, Stephanie, how do you curl your stuff up with just your fingers when you're curling up the edges of these things, or do you use a tool? The, no, uh, the flowers. Yeah. And no, I always use that foam and, and um, even paper like that, I use the foam and just to give them a little bit to break the fibres down, you know, with the ball tool and Okay. And then okay. you can get you, you can get your tweezers just on the end and bend your flowers back. Okay. I hope this one works. This is one of the ones that I use. Well, doing a pocket on a shirt but i think this will work let's see try one of this try this one if you just do the back of it and oh, just gently use use the back and just gently roll the bowl tool around on it you know not too hard at first just so that it gives it a little bit of um a little bit of shape where will i put that little bowl tool what do you use that with <laughs> but i put it in a And then when you've done it on the back, then gently just do it on the front to bring it forward. And if you just give it some dimension. Tip a, a end of a brush would work since I don't know where I put my bone. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, if, it, if it's got a rounded edge, it will. Yeah. Huh? Just do it gently. Don't you know? Would it be? And if you have an end of a of a of a pen like this, you could do it with a pen. Pen like. Like um, a rounded. That's too fat, isn't it? Well, you can get a smaller one. Okay. Yeah. Are you are you paintbrush? If you've got a paint, anything that's got sort of a rounded edge on it, it'll be fine. So am I doing right? Just push this down. Ah, I poked the hole for it. That's what I said. You've got to be really gentle with it because it's only paper, isn't it? Yes. Put spotlight you just so we can just see. Oh boy. <laughs> Must I? Okay, so right. here, okay. now, very, very gently, just go on the edges where, where the petals are, not in the center. Just just gently roll one. around. There's another one's not ripped yet. Yeah, yet. just yeah, yeah just, not in the center, just go on the edges where your petal edges are. Oh, here that's it. Just, oh, just gently. I remember now what you did. Yes, yeah, just okay. gently going around. Yeah, and it'll just I see it lifting ever so slightly, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Because it's paper, though, you have to do it a little bit more gentle because otherwise it'll just go through. Right. Now, so is it starting to, to, yeah, is it starting yeah. to bring them up a bit now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Just do Should it till, till it, twice? yeah, so that it just starts to curl it up so that when you turn it back over and you do it in the centre, it'll have a nice beveled backwards or if you decide you want to have it going forward you see turn it over and then see what you think now if you if you circle it in the middle but not too hard just gently going around so it's bringing the center but you've got your little petals on the outside so they are they beveling back now a little bit not a whole lot do it a little bit more then but i didn't want you going through it are they supposed to curl this way like that? i would curl them that way but then push Obviously, the push down into the center, yeah. Okay. You could even twist them slightly sideways as well if you wanted, rather than going the whole way back. Sideways. And okay. can you as well, could you okay. cut down, you know where the petals are, could you cut down slightly? Right here, yes. Just a tiny bit so that you can actually shake them sideways a little bit. Just cut into them a little bit so that you I can just... You mean, though, sideways. But if you cut it into your petal, but then when you when you turn it over, instead of going backwards, where it's me, I'll see if I've got something I can show you. Yeah, let me spotlight you. We don't need to see me messing. 
And this isn't this isn't gonna be much good because it's just a piece of a piece of copy paper. But if if we say I we say I've done the back of that and these are your petals and you're just cutting into your petals slightly like that. I know this is a peculiar shape. You're just cutting into your petals and you've shaped them. Instead of going back like that, you could go like that to the side. Oh. Curl it to the side and, and see. It's all trial and error till you see which which looks the nicest. Right. Okay. You could curl on the side rather than I haven't got anything to. You, know, you could go back, but instead of going back, you could get the petal at the side and just sort of like curl it. Oops, give it a curl back, and uh -huh. then see what it see what it looks like like that. And then center it. It's, talk, it's all try. I try all sorts. Sometimes I'll go backwards, or you can curl them forwards. But if you curl it forwards, the fact that it's printed blue on one side, it's only going to be white on the other side. If you curl it forward, you're just going to see plain and white card. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Janet wanted to know, because she's the one that said she loved your flowers. They're so beautiful. She says, hers always look kind of muddy. I don't I wonder, is it a different kind of marker, or do you think? Or how do you keep your flowers from looking muddy? Do you just um, choose they, markers? They, the, pro, the pro markers, but what I do, whatever color I'm going to use, I use two shades, if I can, get as near two shades as I can. Use the lighter shade first. And then, you know where you, you've got the lines? Then I use a, a darker shade just to do a line in, in the darker bit. And then I go back over again with the lighter marker pen. Okay. So it's light, tiny, darker marks in the actual lines. And then go back over the whole lot with a lighter marker. Mm-hmm. Linda, holy moly, well, girl, let me look at yours. <laughs> oh, oh, she used real ribbon on hers, right? What, oh, it, what is it? Oh, let me get let me get this mess out of the way. Jeez. <laughs> here, 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 it's coming. Here it is. Oh, it's, okay, is it upside? Up Hold on. You don't need to. Oh, you're going to turn your camera. Like I said, my camera, I can't turn my camera, the one I have. There you go. Look at that. Oh, that's beautiful, Linda. I have to, I have to put these down. What? What is that in the? It looks like a flower. What is that? What? Up what there? is um? What do you mean? I thought it, I thought it was a hamburger. No, look at the picture that we see. Can you see it or not? That um, flower, that pink thing, whatever it is. I don't know. I don't know. Let me get no, on near, near your camera lens. Is there something near your camera lens that's partly blocking it? Oh, is this yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's gone. That, that was another. Um... <laughs> oh, so let me oh, see. What did you put behind the little stars and the little heart? It looks like doilies. I just, I just, I just, I just um, cut out our paper, our designer paper. I used, um, yeah. <coughs> yeah. I've got to put something in the center of, I love these flowers. They're so pretty. Aren't they cute? They are. They're adorable. So is, the, is that paper part of it as well, the round one that you've cut the little bits out? Is that part of the kit as well? Yeah. Beautiful. It's all, it's all, isn't that neat? Oh, where can I put this? Right there. A little heart. Oh, I know what I can do with this. Blessed. I'll put this little heart next to blessed. Oh, don't you like oh, her little she's... shoes? Look at her little shoes. Oh, they are, I love that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. They're so sweet. And her dolly. Uh, let's see. Janet said... 
I try to mix the pen colors, but they never blend well. Thanks for the help, Stephanie. I guess I tried to blend too many colors. Yeah, maybe just start. And that could be why you're getting a brown itch or something. Too many colors. and the... So, yeah, maybe start with two and see what happens. Yeah, yeah just two colors as near, to, as near to the tones that you can, but lighter and darker. Llewellyn said, heartfelt has good lessons for flower making. I'll have to look that up. I guess practice makes perfect. Yep, that's what Janet said. Okay. What color nouveau drops should I put um, in that white flower? Let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are you just going to put one in the middle or what? Um, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe a couple. Maybe a few. Yeah, this is when I start making a mess. When I, I'll put three, I'll put ten. I'll put... <laughs> Maybe I'll just use the white. Nouveau drops? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe just use the white. I have to buy more of those. I just love those. Well, you know what? If you buy them from Simon Says... I can yeah. you, then you put and then you write in the uh, apply the coupon part um, tweet tweet forty two t all in caps tweet forty two you yeah. get five dollars off oh cool they are two dollars ninety nine cents at um, Simon Says hmm. per bottle is that too fat that drop look at all this no. you see all these extra things on the screen like. <clears throat> Like what? All your little stars and flowers and the little X or whatever. Yeah, these, is. See, I can see my can my whole computer screen. Um, oh yeah, no, we don't see all that. No, oh, no. Oh. I'm looking at. I, I downloaded these seed packs and <laughs> all, all kinds of things. Oh, did you? Jeez. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, this thing I made just for today. This will be cute inside to put a something. My, write my sentiment or something. Did you see that little thing? This is Betty Ann. Um, baking yes. powder. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't use it for sure. No. And then the other one that's the golden fleece. Oh, what is that all about? I don't know. <laughs> now, some of my friends would like that because they spin wool. You know, they make wow, it and then cool. they knit or crochet with it. They probably would like a card with that on it. But... Do you know what would be really nice in the center of that blue one? Because it's beautiful. If you have some do three glittery silver vinyl to write happy birthday or something inside it. I think that would look really pretty on that blue. Which blue? Linda's? The one that you've got hold of, your blue circle, uh, your blue circle with the stripes on. I bet that would uh -huh. look beautiful with, with glittery silver vinyl or glittery silver oh. sticker paper with something else. And I bet that would look really pretty. Oh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? Mm. It's, yeah, I think that would be pretty. Well, yeah, it's really, it's really pretty though. Flower in there. Oopsie. A flower. And I didn't really like this tape. What is up with that? How would you use this tape? I know. What? Uh, yeah, what is that? <laughs> I don't know. But I, I made two of them just in case I thought of something to do with it. But I didn't even make that one. I don't know why. Because it was kind of kooky. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why. Oh, but I do like the chicken wire, though. Look, I can make this all fancy. Oh, I forgot. I'm so glad you said that, Patty. I forgot to put the chicken wire in. You know what? That. So did I. That's what's missing oh, on the front. Oh, sorry. All the I trouble. I went. wire on either. <laughs> and now I don't know if I can lift this up anymore. To... Yeah, I can. Ha, ha, ha. Well, now I can't even find the chicken wire. So there, there we go. <laughs> oh, chicken wire. Oh, yeah, that everything. added just what I needed. Remember I had it. I want to. I wish somebody could tell me what I did with it. <laughs> you need a bucket, Cammy. We're gonna look what. Look at yours for a minute, okay? Picking stuff down. Oh come on, chicken wire. Where'd you go? What are those round red things? Is that just your? Ah, uh, it's old. Oh thing that I bought from um, Amazon, a whole bag of stuff that's got little bows and little different things that you can put on cards. So, 
<laughs> oh yeah. Cute. Yeah, it's a cute Timmy. Thank you. Now, now we'll glitter. I'm in trouble. Oh brother. <laughs> <That's really laughs> I think there's a knack to knowing when to stop, and I haven't learned it very well. <laughs> I can't wait to have a go at doing those. They look fabulous. Yeah, aren't they fun? I love them. Oh, I could cry about that chicken wire. <laughs> what, what's wrong with it? Oh, because you didn't put it on? I can't find it. Oh, you were showing it to <laughs> us. Uh, it's got to be on the floor right there or something. You were I'm showing looking. us. I'm looking everywhere. You <laughs> ate it. I didn't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. It's got to be there. I love this card. I wish I gave cards away. You love to do. <laughs> I hear you. Mm -hmm. What did they call this? They even called this like tape, painter's tape. That's what they called it. What would you freaking do with painter's tape on here? I don't know. I have no <laughs> idea why they included that. Not me either. Do you, Tammy, do you have any idea why they included that? Nope. No. All right, I'm gonna put some stickles on. I've just used my favorite ink for stamping this. And if ever anybody does stamping and they want a really good ink, Versafine Clay Nocturne is absolutely brilliant because it gives a really, really clear image. It stays wet long enough if you want to put clear embossing powder over the top of it or to, you know, to sort of heat emboss it. But it's a really, really good ink, really juicy ink, and it's a really clear one. If you only ever have one ink clad in black, that's the one to have. What's it called again? It's called Versafine Clay, and it's Nocturne is the name of it. And, and it really is. It's a pigment ink, so it just stays wet that little bit longer. So say if you do want to put, clear embossing powder on you can do but if, if you don't but it really does it, it's got real clarity to it. it and it does work really well if you do stamp you know and you want fine detail it's really good right. so i saw that you used your little stamping thingy too i always like yeah, using those that's so cool that thing is yeah I mean, what years ago, before I had one of those, I've thrown loads of cardstock away. We, you know, you try, it doesn't work properly, and then you try to reline it back up, and you can't, but at least with that, it doesn't matter if it's not inked enough, you can ink it again and go over and over, and so you never lose your cardstock. I think they're, they're an absolute, if you stamp, they're an absolute bonus. I'm looking for the old timey thing. Yeah, that's definitely worth getting if you stamp. Glass thing called a stamp positioner. Did you have that? Yeah, yeah. I don't know where mine is now, but it wasn't anyway, it was like a solid piece and then a, um, a little L shaped piece that you did. To do it, I have to do that. Thing is so nice though. No, oh, Deanna said she's heard lots of good things about that ink too, Stephanie. Oh, yeah, it, it, really, it really is a really lovely ink. It is, yeah. Really juicy it. and really clear definition with it, yeah. Right. Oh, shoot. Did you find them, Linda? I did, see? Where was it? <laughs> It was um, it was just under something. Okay. <laughs> just under something. <laughs> oh my gosh! How I'm done. What'd you say? I'm done. You're done. Cool. Let's look. Okay, put your card up about where your no where your uh, scissors are. Yeah, and oh, that's all yeah, it's precious. Why not she just the little girl? Tell me that's beautiful. Yes. It's precious. Oh, 
So did you, was that frame one of the ones we got? It is. Okay, Everything cool. we got. Wow. It's something we got in there. I didn't add anything extra except for the little beads. Right. Tip it. Oh, brilliant. So that's the whole clip. You don't, you, apart from the beads, you've not had to add anything to it. Can you hold it closer, Tammy? I can't. Can you hold it closer? It back a little bit. Yeah. There. That is beautiful. beautiful. That's so fresh. Yeah. I don't have a Do you know those beautiful. ribbons and the flowers look really, they don't look like the paper, do they? Yeah, I curl them up a bit to give them a little life. But yeah, they do look uh, really good for paper. Yeah, brilliant. Really um, need anything other than this kit to make a pretty card, I think. Right. I mean, yeah. you want to to it, but it's a big card with just the kit. Oh, that's beautiful. Are you guys anxious to see what kit we chose for you? Yes. <laughs> the chick. <laughs> I downloaded <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, oh just me. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Oh, well, I did Linda, download well, you're, Linda, you're going to have a head start on me. <laughs> there. Oh, that, that's beautiful, Patty. Yeah, brilliant. I just love them. I love it. Yeah. Let me see. Oh, that's precious. Yeah. Oh, really? That she reminds me of the little readers we had when I was a kid that Dick and Jane and Sally and those, did you guys have those readers? Absolutely. Run, Absolutely. Dick, run. Jump, spot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe how quickly children can learn how to read these days. I just, oh. Thanks, Janet. <laughs> oh, I know. So is yours done now? Linda, yours is done too? Almost. almost. I've just got to, I'm just trying to fix this ribbon. Hold on. Oh, almost. I share something too. Um, when I was going to, uh, I put out the card yesterday and everything cut fine. Today, when I went to make one of the flowers, it has a white box around it. If you this, just click on group, cut just your flower. I don't know why. Huh. That's what I had to do to ungroup it. Get and the funny thing about that is, is you know the little this little thing here. Let's see, um, this little thing, solo layout. These, where are they? These little things that I could I couldn't get the lines. You can't see them. Yeah, I couldn't get the lines off of those because you couldn't ungroup it. You couldn't uh, release the compound path or anything. So. Uh, if you have this and you don't want to cover it like Linda did, and you want to make a bigger one of these without those lines, I'll show you really quick how to get rid of them. At least how I got rid of them. Oh, I'm going to share my screen. We can put something on top and weld it. Mm, close. Close. Let's see. Dun, dun. All right. So let me go to file and open, and I'll open that thing. It's right here. Okay. I'm okay, so here's this thing. Okay, just a sec. Here's this. Can you see that thing? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. And so, so like, if I don't want these lines, I can't just take the eraser tool and erase them because there's a texture behind here. And you couldn't ungroup it or uh, do anything like that. So, Linda, you were really close. What I did was I just went like this to the shape tool and got the, well, wait a minute. I made a duplicate of this thing first. So I can hold down the alt and drag this one over. Okay. And then once I did that, I just grabbed both of these and came over here and said crop. So I'm left with this piece. Then I just took this. I've got to right click on it, say bring it to the front, put this over top of there, and alt to make another one. Alt and make another one. And I don't like how those lines show up when I'm looking at it. So you can come up here and change it so that they're transparent. Yeah, that's, yeah, I've done that before. That's cool. Yeah. And then you don't have that, those dumb lines that they had on there, because I don't know how I would fit yeah. in 
three things. And then I just That's perfect, it. Patty Ann. Yeah, That's yeah, brilliant. That work. Thank you. Okay, let me quit stop. Okay, that's my card. Okay, wait, we gotta scroll into you. Let me, let me this. Oh brother. Look oh, at yours all fancy though. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> what? It's, it's it's so pretty. But you did um so you pop dotted up a lot of your elements so they look really pretty, right? Like yeah. the three things in the left, top left, you pop dotted up. I yeah, see that? Up. I love that. Yeah. And you put real ribbon. Mm -hmm. I just happened to have a roll of that. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's perfect color. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you. So what did you do with that flower that has the star in it up on the upper right hand? I just uh, put a dimensional. I cut, I, you know, I used this paper that was from the kit. Right. And I did a scallop circle yeah. uh, when I was um, grouping the actual flower. I put a an offset on it. Uh -huh. And then I, I just put the flower on the designer paper and dimensional and then the star. Yeah. These two flowers right here, these have the um, Nouveau drops. Can you oh. see that? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right. And I like the um, texture that your, um, your uh, chicken wire adds with that shine. That's really pretty. Oh, I love that chicken wire. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on the blast. On the blessed, you just put a darker blue offset on it. I did. First white and then blue, or just a navy blue. blue. Yeah. Nice. And that chicken wire will be lovely for on a bee one as well. If you did a card with a bee, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. I feel like I, I was all, I, <laughs> I almost put a couple chickens on here. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> that would have been cute. <laughs> Very cute. So yes, who should I give this so to? Me? <laughs> oh, I need to start. You guys need to make an extra one for me to pin up on a board behind me. Isn't that what Maymay -Mae does? She puts them up or something. Oh, she has them all over her shop. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just watched her this morning. For as a matter of fact, did you? What was she making? Um, I ended up making a couple. Um, what did I make? I don't even know what I did. Some shoot. I made some. Um. Like little, uh, what do they call tag? What's it called? I, I use my this little punch board. See, Oopsie, right here. My, I made little pockets this morning. Can you see that? No, no you've got yet. my screen. You've got my screen on by mistake. <laughs> that was so much fun. I had a lot of fun this morning. Wait a minute. Wait, show me again, because I just okay. And that's that thing you thought maybe I had one of those? No, no, no. I thought you had one of these. Hold on. I thought you had one of these. No. Is that from Tuesday morning or not? I don't know where I bought it. Tell you the truth. Probably. Yeah. I bought a lot from Tuesday morning, but um, I buy a lot from Amazon, really. Yeah. Get one you of these. Bought I must spend a lot of time finding all these neat things on Amazon. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on um, That's the um, doing what? Reading. Reading. Yeah. Well, if you listen to audiobooks, you could do that and check Amazon. That, I wish I could, uh, Patty Ann. I wish I could just concentrate when I am listening. I've tried to listen, uh, just like. Oh, what, what goes on? I just can't. Huh. Anyway. Sometimes I have that trouble if I try to watch an audiobook and I'm um, driving. Oh. So be, like, I didn't hear anything. That was, I didn't hear any of that. I need to go back. I need to go back. <laughs> my, oh, my, my, my granddaughters are so funny the way they use words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my, my one little granddaughter, Olivia, she was saying, she was talking about the dog and how the dog needed a bath and the dog smelled so bad. She said, that dog smells so bad. She said, um, it's a wonder my nose didn't throw up if it could. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yuck. I can understand that though. But she, she, I love how she uses words. Right. She should, she should become a writer. 
Yeah, they write a lot. They do. Oh, do time. they? Oh, okay. Julia, the um, eleven-year-old, she writes quite a bit. Oh, I know what I wanted to mention to you. My um, Olivia, the nine-year-old, mm-hmm. she wrote a song called "O oh, O oh, Trolley." So it's O H O H Trolley, T R O L L E Y, and the town where they live is called Myersville, and Myersville is between. Frederick and Hagerstown and Myersville came to be because of the trolley stop. So the town is having a contest who can write a song about the trolley that depicts Aww. the town. So Olivia wrote the song and uh, if you guys could go and listen to it, I think you'd really love it. Um, it's on YouTube and it's called Oh, Oh Trolley and they'll pick the winner at the end of April. Wow. She and was the nine. Did you say she, she's nine? She's nine, and she came up with the uh, melody and the lyrics. And Steve is pl- my son is playing the piano for her while she sings. And while you're watching the video, there are pictures of Myersville for mm-hmm. each verse. I mean, as she's singing, oh. but it's it's very entertaining, y'all. It re- <laughs> oh, sounds fun. It's sounds so fun. fun. <laughs> Well, do y'all remember when I made this? These eggs are still staring me in the face. I haven't eaten them yet. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, if I lived there, I'd be helping you eat. <laughs> 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 and then this. I'm just looking at my stuff here. Oh, I lo- I, you guys made that, didn't you? I love that. That was so much fun with the sewing junk. I haven't done. I haven't had time to I do that done yet. It yet. Patty, I'm going to, it's on my list. I definitely. Yeah. All right. There's so many cute things to make. I and know. Not enough. Where's all the, we need to, more time. Or <laughs> I needed some mojo back, which I think it's coming. My problem, like I said, is I don't give my stuff to anybody because I don't really know anybody around, you know, that would appreciate it. Uh, Tam, I, I mean, definitely people all give away cards there. I mean, it's yeah. Like, I've, I did you ever see this? I saw this online and then I changed it to Mimi. Uh, oh. It says, if you had any idea how hard I worked on this handmade card and how late I was up last night making it, you would never ever throw it away. Oh, I love oh. that. That is cute. <laughs> That's oh. cute. Uh-huh. I like that. I'm only sharing it's it so with you true. guys. <laughs> so true. I would never give it to my kids. <laughs> right. Yeah. So anyway. All right. Well, I guess I'm done. If anybody else has anything exciting to show or tell. Yeah. I'm ready to go. I'm really, I'm go my I'm really pleased I've managed to nearly do three cards tonight. So That's fantastic, Steph. Yeah. I was going to do this just like this. Um, this one and oops, oh, I was going to do it like that, and then I thought, no, it looks better. I'm going to cut a piece of black. I think it looks better like this. Just see what you Are think. You sure both? Yeah. Right. That that's. Looks... I haven't done it yet. That's the card like that. Right. Beautiful. But then I thought of putting just a small, only a very thin border of black behind it. Oh, uh, that's yes. That is so. Uh, cla- that's that does it because it brings the black out, doesn't it, of the stamp and the black lines? Do you think? Oh, I yes. think it's very sophisticated. I love that. I think it's yeah. so pretty. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do eventually. I'll not do it tonight, but I'm actually quite pleased because now I've managed to get. Um, I'm really getting on with my car. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy just got some start? butterflies the other day. What Tammy did? What she got some new butterfly dyes the other day. Oh, yeah, uh, Stephen, is it time to start your Christmas cards yet? Oh, <laughs> I haven't started mine yet. I, I have nearly 100 to do, but I keep saying I'll start early. I haven't started yet. <laughs> I've got a, a friend's birthday tomorrow. Her card's done. You know, when we did those stained glass window ones. Oh, yeah. oh they're beautiful. Oh, I love them. Yeah. I've got one of those going out to one friend. I've got. So you don't send a lot of cards in the state, you know. Yeah. It's my friend's golden wedding anniversary on Saturday, so that's going out tomorrow. Mm-hmm. For a golden wedding. And then 
one of the ones that I've just done with the tulips, that's going out to a friend. And then this one that we did, I think everybody's seen them anyway, the ones that we did when we did the stained glass window. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show us again. That's going, that's going in the post tomorrow as well for another friend's birthday. Oh, I love that one. I made that one too, Steph. I yeah, love so, that. yeah. So that's going to one of your friends, it's her birthday tomorrow. Um, and this one is at weekend. So, yeah. And by the way, both Janet and Deanna said they like it with the black layer, your other cord. Yeah, I think it just, it just brings it out a little bit more, I think, doesn't it? Yeah. So I'll do that tomorrow, Ash. I'm not going to do any more tonight. I'm quite pleased with what I've done today. And I can't wait to have a go at those that you've done. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, Linda, that was yours that you did, huh? Yeah, I, but I like Stephanie's background better. I couldn't find the same um, background. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. uh, I hope you all have a nice evening. I'm going to I'm gonna hit the road, too, here. <laughs> yes, me, too. Thanks. Well, thank I'm, you guys. I'm going to go fun. make a cup. I'm going to make a cup of tea because it's half past nine at night now. <laughs> yes. I know I've asked you this a hundred times, but do you put sugar and cream in your tea? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. You make it good. Yeah. That's the way it's good. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Let's have the reveal. Stephanie and oh, I have to. <laughs> wait. Janet wanted to know if we got the embossing folder from Lin that Linda showed. Uh, Tammy, aren't you supposed to be getting yours today? Mine should be coming. And I think I have a couple extras coming that I was going to send to Stephanie and um, Bernie, Car right? Oh, that's right. Carmen yeah. didn't need one. I was able to do it. Mine's in the mailbox now. I just got to go outside and get it. <laughs> oh, how fabulous. Janet, did you find it online? I don't know if she did or not. That, oh, that's, that's the prettiest thing ever. It's the prettiest embossing folder yeah, I've ever seen. Hers. She got hers yesterday. <laughs> oh, neat. Yeah. I hope she's going to show us what she does with it. Exactly. Uh, she was going to make a wedding card, I think. Where, is that you, Janet? Oh, how fabulous. I think Janet said she was going to make a wedding card. Hmm. I'm not, I'm pretty sure she said that. Wait, call wait. one of you Janet and one of you Jan so we can keep track. <laughs> well, let's get to, can we get together and do this again? That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I it keeps going through, it. right? It keeps us mood motivated. So, okay. <laughs> See you guys later. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.